Devin and Carson play a game with three colored marbles. A bag contains one red, one blue, and one yellow marble. Each player pulls a marble from the bag. The player with the red marble wins two points, otherwise the player loses one point. Find the expected value to determine whether the game is fair. Hmm. On this one we have to consider um, winning two points as positive two and losing one point as negative one. So there's a we've got two events. You can win two points or you can lose one point. Uh, but what's the probability of each event? The probability of winning is the same as the probability of red because you win if you get the red marble. And there's uh, one marble that's red, one favorable outcome, and three possible outcomes. So the probability of winning is a third. The probability of losing is the same as the probability of getting the uh, blue or the yellow, but it's also the complement of winning, obviously. So probability of blue or yellow, or probability of losing, is two-thirds. So you figure out the expected value by multiplying the points, by, or the, the, um, the probability of each event by the, by the value of each event. There's a one-third chance of winning, and you gain two points if you win, if you get the red marble. So one-third multiplied by positive two. And there's a two-thirds probability of losing one point, so we represent losing one point as negative one. And when we multiply these, we get one-third times two is two-thirds. Two-thirds times negative one is negative two-thirds. Two-thirds plus negative two-thirds is zero. This means the game is fair. If the game, if the expected value turned out to be a positive value, that means you have a greater chance of winning than losing. But if the expected value was negative, that would mean you have a greater chance of losing than winning. If you were to run this kind of expected value ca calculation on any kind of carnival game or casino game, certainly, um, it, I, should, I should be more specific, any casino game where you play against the house um, with almost no exceptions. The, you would always get an expected value that's negative from your perspective, positive from the casino's perspective. That's how they build those huge casinos. All right, so uh, expected value of zero in a situation like this indicates a fair game.